Hey there and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to create an interface with Airtable. Well, Airtable is an excellent tool for managing and organizing data. Its native interface may not be as visually appealing, especially for less technically inclined users. So in this video, we will see a step-by-step -step approach to building attractive interfaces with Airtable through three methods. Airtable interface designer, software, and extensions from the Airtable marketplace. So first and foremost, let's go to an Airtable base here. So I'm actually just gonna grab this sales CRM right here, whichever base you want, honestly. And in your base, you're going to choose the interfaces tab at the top. So you can see right here, you can click on that. And then we can press start building. So uh, you can pick between choosing a form or a interface. So I'm gonna press interface and then it shows exactly how this works. Works. You choose a use case, borrow with data, customize and share. Let's click next. We can name our interface to whatever we want. So you can give it a specific name. And then from there, let's pick something like the Kanban view, but you can pick any of these, honestly. So let's do Kanban, press next. And now I'm gonna pick the deals and I'm gonna do it by the stage right here. So if I press finish, you'll see that it has a interesting interface now that, that works. So we can preview this and you'll see that it's going in order by the different stages that exist, which honestly is a much better view than what was previously possible with the Airtable setup that we had normally. So for any of these, what we can do is we can show more fields, for example, like the account and who's in there. We can even just uh, simply take something like the estimated value within that, which is probably one of the better ones to put in there as well as maybe the account and that's it. So now by making a couple different updates, you can see we could view it as different people within here. Let's press publish and we can make other views of this as well, but I'm gonna press share. And after pressing share, once I copy this link and paste it out, you'll notice that this is essentially what the view would be for an interface, right? So we have an interface that has the ability to showcase to someone in public all of the deal information stage wise. You can collapse and open up stacks here with this Kanban view. And inside of here, if we want to make any other adjustments, we totally can. Uh, it doesn't just have to be a view of the Kanban view. You can change the visualization to a list if you'd like and more. Uh, the person that is viewing this can filter things out if they'd like as well. And on the back end, you totally can make any updates in here to adjust things. You can add action buttons as well, which is really cool and make adjustments here as well. Showcasing the elements, you can add different tabs and drop downs here, which is really cool in order to make multiple views too. So it's a pretty simple and effective builder. It's not necessarily gonna be anything that's groundbreaking. I'd say that it's solid, but it doesn't necessarily have that groundbreaking level of support that you're gonna be looking for with a front end option. Bring in Softer, AKA us. So here at Softer, all you need to do in order to, to make space with Airtable is to press new application. And either you can start application or say you had something in mind, you can pick something like the sales KPI dashboard. And then from there, say this employee directory one, then you'd press use template and select your data source as Airtable. Now after selecting Airtable as your data source, you can copy that base to your account. And by pressing add base, what you'd essentially have here is the employee directory that was created by Softer, but the front end now can be managed inside of Softer with all the data in the back end from Airtable. So since I've already granted access to my Airtable account before doing this video, it essentially remembers all the data from that Airtable base and syncs it back and forth between the two here. And this is a great front end interface for anybody to use now. Uh, all you need to do is set it up in a way that makes sense to you and customize this interface to your needs. Then after it's customized, all you do would be to press publish here. And then this link would be live for the public to see. And that's pretty much everything. Now, this isn't the last thing we'll talk about. The last thing we can talk about is actually how Airtable has some pretty solid extensions in the Airtable marketplace for extensions. So, and within the Airtable marketplace, and you can find that on the bottom left, 
Essentially what you'll have in the Airtable Marketplace is the ability to choose between a bunch of different apps in order to level up what you necessarily have from a product standpoint in regards to Airtable. We can see that there's a myriad of them on the basic side here, but these are by Airtable. For example, if I wanted to level this up, I could take this Miro extension and add it. Now by adding this extension and selecting my base, what essentially you'll see here is that this extension allows you to then connect a Miro board once I sign in and I can pick any specific board to embed right here. And then within here, you'll see that this pops up this uh, workflow that I have inside of Miro and it can pot it, pop up on the side here and you can add any other extensions that you'd like in order to elevate the interface that you have while working inside of Airtable. Now, this is something that we talk about in other videos, but it does end up costing money because some of these extensions do have a monthly fee and you can take advantage of all these extensions by checking out the marketplace. So make sure to check out the marketplace for any possible extensions to your Airtable today. So now you know three distinct methods for building interfaces for Airtable data for different preferences and requirements. You can choose the method that suits you best, whether it's using the native Airtable interface designer software for enhanced customization, or extensions from the Airtable marketplace for specific functionalities. We hope you found this video helpful. And if you liked it, make sure to smash that like button and consider subscribing for more insights into Airtable and software. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.